Hello, I'm Tim Cockrell from Wise Media. I'm here with Piras Kiaza, who's CEO of Cargo Express Logistics. Welcome. Thank you. Um, now, you're um, going to be describing the, the whole logistics progress process in terms of um, express logistics within the maritime sector. Yeah. What is the most crucial point from your point of view that, um, that requires a, 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 the, the security of the sector to be maintained? Yeah, uh, following the security and the safety procedures in the maritime operation, yeah. every party who should be part of the logistic uh, in the supply chain should follow the framework that the International Maritime Organization has made for uh, this, uh, the whole operation of logistics. But in the supply chain, there's, there's, there are a lot of steps that Yes. That, that obviously both the transporter and I guess the suppliers and the end users yes. and people receiving have to go through. Yeah. What, what is the linkage that, that you need? That, is there like a silver thread that runs through the whole thing? Actually, the International Maritime Organization has put uh, a security code for each party of the whole operation he should comply with, like the supplier when he will receive the container, talking always about the maritime shipping, he has to stuff the cargo in appropriate way, the packing, the declaration of the export, um, even distributing the weight inside the container. Everything, every point, every single thing is matters for the safety um, in the later phases of the supply chain procedures. So, for example, what could go wrong if somebody doesn't um, comply? For Can example, you give a, a, a yeah. typical example. For example, some. Um, it's very common in many countries that, uh, for example, if some supplier in China is exporting to a country like uh, maybe Yemen or maybe in South America that charge the custom duty on weight, based on weight. Okay. So the customer asks them to reduce the weight, for example, to, to declare about 10 tons instead of 25 tons. Some suppliers do that. Yeah. So if they do that, the, the shipping line will deal with this container based on 10 tons. So they will position it on board on that basis. They will uh, load it on crane based on that. So this small issue could yeah. make a disaster Absolutely. in later stages. Okay. And how can you therefore, as a, as a, as a shipper, I mean, I'm guessing yeah. that's what what, what, what you would be coming from. How can you guarantee that everybody complies? Are, Actu there, are there, I mean, there's standards to adhere to, but how can you, is, is there a technology that we could be looking at that's Actually, sure um, some of the, of the port, they um, make very strict st procedures to check every container by scanners, for example, to check the content of the container. In some ports, they load like 30% um, or 40% of the containers randomly to check about it. And everybody who declare, for example, less weight, they pay big fines like $10,000 and they <coughs> get banned maybe for exportation. So those procedures can uh, let exporters be aware of that they might face big problems if they not comply with those procedures. So we were talking about the role of the port authority and how important yeah. that is by to to sort of maintain these standards and the, and compliance. Yeah, the port authorities they have like the major responsibility in the whole operation because they will receive the containers uh, full uh, on the container yard before loading them on board so they have to check carefully try to check even if all the containers can be checked oh, sure. some some ports they do some ports they can't because they have very big uh, load over their capacity so that's why i told you that they sometimes they check randomly sure like in um, jebel ali port they check pretty much uh, randomly sometimes they stop the container if they suspect anything based on the documents for example if you declare um, lower value of the invoice like the the normal value 
they suspect they stop all the containers because they suspect the content okay um, also in most of the ports in the world there are scanners to check the contents of the containers which is the most important thing because sometimes the um, some shippers they stuff for example fire uh, fireworks sure. inside the containers and they don't declare it because it's banned in many Band countries, substances, yeah, yeah. Okay. and yeah. this caused a very big accident in July 2010 with the, I think, Maersk Charlotte, the the name of the vessel. It was carrying 8,200 containers, and there has been fire on board in Malaysia, like a couple of hours after departure, and it took them 11 days to distinguish the fire. Really, 11 oh. days, and the fire has damaged like 100, 150 containers that day. So the port authority is the most uh, responsible uh, party on the whole Thank operation. You. And just one last thing, what about the sort of crossover or the, the onward forwarding side where you, you're looking at possibly other hubs if yeah. from the ship things then end up on, on rail or road or possibly even air? Is there a linkage? Is there a, a sort of cooperation? Yeah, sure. The on, cooperation on the, in terms of standards. Does it just carry on through, or is it different? Yeah, sure. Uh, the first step, actually, of any booking that uh, we, that as freight forwarders, we have to get the full information from the the consignee of the cargo and the, from the supplier about the nature of the cargo, the weight, every inform the packages, everything. And from that moment, we provide the shipping line about this, and they uh, open the booking based on those information. So the, the cooperation starts from this moment, and uh, then we, when, uh, when the container is placed to the shipper, uh, the, the export declaration should be sent from the shipper to the port authorities. So it starts from that moment. And then when the, uh, the, sh uh, the vessel departure from the port of loading, uh, then the co coordination should be with the port of discharge mm -hmm. to be well prepared that to receive this cargo. And if there is any uh, specification uh, in the cargo should be taken care of at the port of discharge. So the port of discharge will be informed about that. All the way through. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, thanks very much. Okay. It's Thank very interesting. So and thanks, thanks for Thank talking you for to us. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.